Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over everything you need to know for the Lavatar Community Day before you do start it if you haven't done so yet because there's a few goals that you may want to meet before you finish it off. If you're thinking, ah, oh, it's no big deal, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get the candies another time or I'll just collect a few. There's some things that you may want to collect extra XL candies for for the future. So this is obviously going on the, going down on the 21st from 2 until 5 p.m. But you're also going to be able to evolve Pupitar into Lawitar for up to four hours after that time too. So we'll look at that here in a second. Three hour lures and incense, of course, and then three times XP for catching so you want to turn on a lucky egg now even if you're level 50 you may want to just do this if you have lucky eggs lying around because i mean we're probably going to get more levels and that's just going to add on to the xp that you need right and then you can take some snapshots if you're stuck somewhere you really can't get in around or whatever the case may be and then of course you do have smackdown which is going to be a quick move so uh you can evolve it now if you have a shadow and then when we do get the rocket event you can just team away frustration because it is going to be a quick move, you don't have to worry about it. It will learn it. So, yeah, if you have frustration on your Tyranitar and it is one moved, you can evolve your Pupitar and it will have the Smackdown move, okay? Uh, and then take a look at the IVs, usual thing. You know, zero attack, 15 defense, 15 stamina, you know. All right, so, again, you're going to be able to evolve Pupitar into Tyranitar to get Smackdown from 2 until 7 p.m. So, after the event has ended, you're still going to have plenty of time to do that. And we're not going to get the raids for this one well they haven't stated it <laughs> so who knows with Niantic now taking a look at the one dollar ticket 99 cents okay is it worth it? it's always worth it but let's just go ahead and take a look at what we have going on here might as well include it with this video so one of four is going to be power up a Pokemon 10 times for some Pokeballs always love Pokeballs catch 15 Larvitar and you're gonna encounter one and then uh, make five nice throws for some candy as well so you're pretty standard stuff here I mean <laughs> Uh, make three great throws for some more Lavatar candy. So take a look at the prizes, though. You get uh, 2,000 starters. This is 99 cents, mind you. Uh, Incent. I mean, come on. That's already the price of the ticket. And a Rocket Radar. That's pretty good. Ultra Balls as well. And some XP. I mean, I guess you can just get that for free. More XP. Another Lavatar, which is going to be everywhere. But then another Incent. So that's already pretty much $2. Plus the Rocket thing. So you're looking at about $7 or something like that. And some rare candy. So, hey. It's pretty good. It's always worth it. Like I said, you, you don't want to not purchase it. I mean, it's 99 cents. And hey, you know, if you can't get it, then it is what it is. If you don't spend money on this game, that's perfectly fine. You're, you'll be okay without it. But if you do want to purchase it, you know, you're going to be looking pretty good. And you also do have a chance to get a Shundo, I guess, out of those Larvitars, maybe even a Tyranitar. Who knows? Okay, now moving on to the next part here. We have, I guess, Paradox Tyranitar. It doesn't say it has an evolution. This is going to be called Iron Thorns. So we may see the conversion of candies from Tyranitar into this. And that's another reason why you may want to grind it. You do have the regular one to the right, shiny to the left. Who knows when they're going to introduce it. But it is going to be dropping its dark typing and picking up rock or picking up electric. Now, again, this is not a direct... Uh, I mean, look at it. It's Tyranitar. I mean, come on. What the hell is this? It's a Tyranitar. So yes, I think we're going to hopefully be able to change forms into it, but probably just a whole other Pokemon. But again, you're probably going to still be able to use your Tyranitar candies on it unless they just make it a whole other thing, which would be quite interesting. We have a whole bunch of these coming down the line with newer Pokemon introduced in Scarlet Violet. And uh, this game has got a lot of longevity as long as I keep making newer Pokemon. <laughs> we're going to keep on seeing Pokemon Go do this. And for the people who are like, oh, Pokemon Go is dead. Oh, give me a break. All right. So then we have also Mega Tyranitar, which is not going to be introduced for its community day. But it's another reason why you may want to go ahead and start getting ready for that as well. And again, when we do get these in the raids, you're going to be able to get candies there as well. Even potentially a Shundo when you do go into that catch screen. Now, how good is it going to perform? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Now, as far as dark types, you do have quite a few that are going to be overtaking the first page here. You have Shadow Weavile. Mega Absol, Shadow Honchkrow, Mega Houndoom, Shadow Weavile, Mega Absol again with another moveset, Shadow Absol, Ash Greninja, which is not even in the game yet, and uh, it's still going to be okay as a dark type attacker. What's holding it back is Bite. If it gets Snarl, it'll be great. Uh, as far as the rock type attackers, though, it is going to be doing pretty good on the first page here. Mega Deancey uh, taking up those first two slots, so technically it would be number four. 
and it is going to have a decent let's see dps times tdo oh yeah look at that it's much better than everything uh, except for dancy which is going to be surpassing it by it looks like around 200 but other than that tyranitar is going to be able to stick it out in that fight obviously <laughs> you're not going to go up against fighters with it but hey so there's a lot to look forward to as far as tyranitar is concerned so we're going to go ahead and take a look at my collection here and i'm going to tell you a little bit of a story on when i was first introduced to tyranitar so this was back in eighth grade i do have that 98 i did transfer 100 as well too whoops i died i know i it was an accident all right so it was about eighth grade or so we were going on a trip to arizona and i was playing that game for the first time right uh so it was good stuff i didn't look into it whatsoever as far as the new gen i just went into it completely blind this is before like you know, we had the internet, but it wasn't what it was today, okay? And I didn't look at any books, I just went completely blind. And I didn't know what Tyranitar was, right? So I got a Pubitar, and I was leveling it up, and it turned into, uh, or I got Larvitar, evolved it into Pubitar, and I was like, man, I bet you this thing is going to look so good when it evolves, because it looks so dumb right now in this Pubitar stage. And when it evolved, I was just in awe, like, oh my goodness, my love for Pokemon. I was like, this is a true Pokemon design. You gotta give it up. This is literally one of the best. You gotta love it. Oh, it's just kind of like a Godzilla ripoff. Like, what? I mean, we perceive it to be that way. And it could be, you know, a little bit of picked up some inspiration from that. But doesn't matter. It's still a great one. Now, another thing you want to remember to do is uh, Mega Evolve. Uh, so, Pupitar or Larvitar. Man, I keep getting those mixed up. Larvitar is going to be rock and ground. So, you got Mega Aerodactyl. Mega Steelix. And I don't know, I think I'll probably go with the Aerodactyl. We'll look at my 98 shiny Aerodactyl that I do have. I should probably just go with that. And then, of course, also Swampert with its ground typing, too. So those are the three Pokemon that you can use to make it evolve so you can get more candy off of them. It's not going to be a dark type, so don't, don't evolve your Houndooms or Gyarados for this one here. But anyways, folks, if you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. And we're looking good. So just a quick video to help you maximize this community day because it's going to be pretty fun and it's good stuff i know a lot of people need xp and really quick let's go ahead and take a look at that uh aerodactyl <laughs> forgot its name and i'll catch you all next time take care the world ain't all sunshine and rainbows it's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. Touch the deck!